I'm going to show you how to rivet webbing onto a buckle. For the buckles that we use, you are going to you're going to need to know which side to put the webbing in, and that would be the one that has the one hole. The one that has the two holes is the one that you thread the other end in. So the only one that's permanent is the one in the one hole. So we're going to thread it through, and we're going to use two rivets just for security. And the way you put a rivet in is first you make a hole with an awl. Don't make it so close to the buckle that you're not going to be able to get a hammer in there because we're going to be hammering this down. So you're going to make a hole and push it pretty far through because when you take the awl out, it tends to constrict a little. We have in here rivets. There are two parts. This is the male part. We're going to put it in. On the other side, we're going to snap on the female part. That's really what they're called. Okay. Cosmetically, your best option is to do it the other way so the ugly part doesn't show. But for the purposes of today, since this is what I did, we're going to do it this way. All right. Since most of you will not be working in a woodworking shop, you're going to have to be adaptive. When we hammer, we have to be very careful that we don't break furniture. So we can do two things. One, use a metal ruler or any kind of a metal surface to hammer on. And two, make sure the force of the hammer is going to go on the most stable part of the table. So I'm not going to hammer here. I'm going to hammer right over the center base of this table. If you're working on a square table, work over the very corner edge right over the leg. So I'm going to put this here and I'm going to hammer as straight up and down as I can with the big hammer. I have a small hammer. Sorry, I learned from Julia Child. Okay, I'm going to hold it down, make sure I center it. If the top is almost directly over the bottom, you've got a good rivet. If the top is slanted and very diagonal to the bottom, it's probably not going to work and best you should just cut it off and start again. You would put another rivet behind it for security. And that's all there is to riveting.